You've probably seen ads for 5G all over the place, but what if I told you it was a lie? Let's talk about it. 5G is the fifth generation cell network, or in other words, the stuff that your phone uses to make calls all around the world. This technology was invented way back in the 80s when the first cell phone came out. It connected the cell phone wirelessly to the telephone line that already existed. And if you want to learn more about that, I have a whole video on how the internet works. Check it out right there. The brilliant thing about the cell network is that you can access it from any point near a tower without being tracked. In other words, the person that you're calling doesn't know where you are, and you don't know where they are. Where are you now? I'm sitting in my office. I doubt that. And why would you doubt that? If you were in your office right now, we'd be having this conversation face to face. And yes, there are literally 5Gs. There was four generations before 5G of cell networks. 5G was first deployed around 2019, and nowadays most cell phones have 5G antennas on them. Okay, that's all great and all, but what's the catch? What if I told you it didn't exist? To understand that, I have to explain what 5G is. Basically, the way that cell services work is that a wave is transmitted from the top of the tower. 4G operates at about the 6 gigahertz level. All you need to know is that those are some pretty big waves. 5G uses something called millimeter wave, which is anywhere from 24 to 96 gigahertz. So the waves are much shorter. Now this is good because it delivers information faster. But the thing about shorter waves is that they have a much more limited range. So in order for a location to have proper 5G coverage, you would need to have a tower about every 50 feet or so. You can see the problem there. Obviously, that isn't true. So how do companies like T-Mobile say they have nationwide coverage? Short answer, they don't. Anytime your phone says 5G with a couple of letters after it, it isn't true 5G. It's really just high band 4G or slightly faster 4G. So that's still good, right? Nope. Not only are you paying extra for a 5G data plan that doesn't really exist, using those extra 5G antennas on your phone also takes up battery. Not to mention that these faster speeds aren't always reality. So let's run it over. You're paying more money, losing more battery life, and occasionally getting better service. That kind of seems like a scam at this point. Just to prove how silly this is, I went out near a 5G tower and actually tested this out. So let's check that out. I'm out here in the field by this 5G tower. I'm gonna do a speed test with 5G and without 5G to see the speeds. Okay, with 5G we have download speeds of 515, it's pretty decent. And with 4G, we have 590 megabits per second. So as you can see, not only is 5G ultra wideband not really 5G, it's also slower. So next time you see a T-Mobile ad where they say they have the largest 5G network in the country, it just isn't true. Very few companies are putting up true 5G towers because it just isn't practical. So next time you're purchasing a phone line, just know that you're the smarter one there. Anything a salesman says that's too good to be true, probably is. Oh, and by the way, what's Xfinity up to? Introducing the next generation 10G network, only from Xfinity. The future starts now. Yeah, that's for sure legit. Party on, dudes.